Welcome to Ash Wrestling Report. Just, just Hey guys, how you doing? This is me, Ash, your host for Ash Wrestling Report, and we are on the road to Royal Rumble. Before that, we are on the road to Raw 25th Anniversary Show, which will be live on 22nd of January. Today's Raw started with Roman Reigns take, kicking off the show. Look, he was looking pleased after defeating Samoa Joe in a match when the odds were against Roman Reigns and he successfully and he successfully defended his intercontinental championship roman reigns gets interrupted by jason jordan who in turn gets interrupted by seth rollins roman and jordan got nothing but booze from the crowd and jason jordan goes on about to say that they are the most dominant three-man group in WWE right now to which Finn Balor, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows walk out and dispute that claim and Finn Balor would go on about to call Jason Jordan a nerd to which Jordan reacts angrily and slaps Luke Gallows tension breaks out in the ring though no fight though no men attack each other but both Jordan and Gallows are restrained by their by their respective group mates and Kurt Angle comes out to book a match between the Balor Club and Shield. Shield 2.0 you can say. So that was the opening segment of Monday Night Raw. The six man tag team match between the two groups will be tonight's main event. Then we got to see Sasha Banks and Bailey taking on Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville of Absolution. Sasha and Bailey defeated Sonya and Mandy quite comfortably, in which Sasha looked great, but Bailey looked like a chump. Something's been wrong lately about WWE booking Bailey, the fourth horse woman. They really need to rise her standards up in the Royal Rumble because she's an impressive wrestler. Next up, we have Woken Matt Hardy facing Kurt Hawkins. And Kurt Hawkins is expecting someone to break his streak. But now Matt Hardy disappoints Kurt Hawkins. And Matt Hardy is surprised by Bray Wyatt, who appears behind him and they don't attack each other. They just laugh off and the crowd is loving them. The hysterical laugh offs between the darkness and light, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. It's interesting and they are so much in love with each other that they just laugh at each other. Oh God. Next up we have The Return of the Miz. The Miz was out to shoot a movie and he is back after six weeks the crowd greeted him warmly with cheers and the Miz was welcomed back to the ring by Elias Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel both were trying to please the Miz by giving him gifts of their own and the fans were chanting welcome back to the Miz the Miz gave a wonderful promo and he also spoke of Roman Reigns borrowing the Intercontinental title from him and he is back to take it from Roman. It was quite a moment to see The Miz back and cutting such a wonderful promo. Not much of a surprise though, The Miz is good at cutting promos anyway. Next up we had Cruiserweight Championship match which was scheduled last week between Enzo Amore and Cedric Alexander however because Enzo was ill last week that match took place today and Enzo Amore didn't lose the title Cedric Alexander won the match but it was a count out victory and Enzo Amore looked injured oh yeah Enzo Amore, Enzo Amore looked really hurt 
Next up, we had Sheamus and Cesaro taking on Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil, that is Titus Worldwide, with Dana Brooke on the ringside. Before that, we saw backstage that Kurt Angle is talking to a woman on the phone and she is a female wrestler and she's about to return at the Royal Rumble who ha and she hasn't wrestled for a long time. So, it's a matter of surprise to predict who's it going to be and uh, I think it's going to be Trish Stratus or it could even be Lita. Who knows? Stay tuned to Royal Rumble. Ha ha ha. So we see Sheamus and Cesaro the Bar taking on Apollo Crews and Tyrus O'Neill and to everyone's shock, Tyrus O'Neill rolls Sheamus to get a three pin, three count and they pin, they've pinned the Bar. Crews and O'Neill has pulled out a blinder and they celebrate. Next up we have Braun Strowman's act of terror. Oh yeah, Brock Lesnar walks up with his advocate Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar gets a good reception like he usually does. Paul Heyman went on to say his client Brock Lesnar will stack both Kane and Strowman on each other and pin them both at the Royal Rumble because Brock Lesnar made a, mo made a joke of Kane's best shot last week and laughed off in Kane's face. Out comes Kane from behind Brock Lesnar and starts attacking him. And the brawl breaks out, uh, breaks out of the ring and Braun Strowman comes and the action moves into, into the crowd side and Braun Strowman does a wreckage. He drops the lighting tr the trust that's there for the light lighting he drops it on branch uh, on Brock Lesnar and Kane and they had to be taken out in a stretcher so Braun Strowman showing every bit, bit of monstrosity and how else would you book him to build up the match the triple threat match in the Royal Rumble Braun can't speak much so they're showing the monster in him. Next up we had Samoa Joe taking on Rhino. Heath later accompanying Rhino on the ringside which wasn't of much use. Samoa Joe put Rhino to sleep with his cocaine clutch and Rhino taps out. Samoa Joe cuts an interview and in which he says that he's officially entered himself in the Royal Rumble and he will go out against the odds to win it. And he particularly took a shot at John Cena, saying that he will eliminate John Cena. Where is this going? Well, it could be that Cena and Joe could have their match in Royal Rumble. Uh, I mean to say WrestleMania, because the Destroyer versus the champ, the ex-champ, the C-Nation leader, is going to be a blockbuster, a blockbuster of a match. Next up we have we see Nia Jax attacking Asuka inside the ring after uh, Nia Jax's friend Alexa Bliss tells Nia Jax stupid things about uh, Asuka even though and uh, Nia Jax enters herself in, in, in the Royal Rumble even though Nia Jax, Nia Jax didn't seem to react positively to her friend she attacks Asuka and leaves her in the canvas. And then it was time for the main event, the Balor Club taking on Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. The Balor Club defeated Jason Jordan, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins because of Jason Jordan's fumble. Jason Jordan distra uh, unknowingly distracted the referee and the referee didn't see Roman tagging in and Rollins got pinned by Finn Balor with a coup de gras. So great start for the Balor Club in 2018 and like Finn said 2018 may well be the year of the Balor Club. We'll have to see. 
but the action wasn't over yet. Jordan was pissed off at, I mean to say Reigns was pissed off at Jason Jordan after they got defeated by the Battle Club and the Battle Club celebra celebrates. And out of nowhere the Mr. Raj attacks Jason Jordan, Rollins and Reigns and the Miz gives the Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns his finishing maneuver, the skull, crush, the skull crushing finale and the show comes off to a close. So we'll get to see Roman Reigns versus The Miz for the, for the Intercontinental Championship on the 25th anniversary show on Royal Ram on Monday Night Raw. There you have it folks. That was all we had on this week's of Monday Night Raw. Stay tuned. Tomorrow night we'll see Smackdown Live. Results, summary and more. Thank you for listening guys. Have a great day ahead. Two sweets. <laughs>